Welcome to another video. In the last video, I have showed a little bit how to install VS Code or VS Codium and how to install the Shopify Liquid extension into one of those. And of course, how to use the Shopify CLI in this context. In today's video, I will show you how you can switch your live theme over to the GitHub integration. I will also explain why the GitHub integration is useful, especially in the context of having multiple people working together on your online store. The first thing I have done is uh, I cleaned up my demo store a little bit. So I removed all the themes we have uploaded and published and so on in the last videos. So. This is all empty except for the live theme. And um, this is also reflected in the console here. When we have a look here, you will see that the live theme is actually the only one we have right now. The first thing I would do is uh, I would just pull this one down, select this one. While the theme is downloading, we can quickly connect our Shopify account to our GitHub account. So we go for add theme and uh, connect from GitHub. It will prompt you to log into GitHub. I am already logged in. If you're not logged into GitHub on your computer, it will ask you for username and password. And uh, here we can authorize Shopify. It will ask you for a couple of permissions. So uh, you can have you can make different choices here. Uh, just for ease of demonstration, I will just allow all repositories in my account. Now this is connected. Here you can just select any repo you want. As I said, uh, we have to create a repo first for our themes. We will head back to VS Codium. The theme has been downloaded. So when we go to when we go to our files, you can see everything is here. What we need to do now is to create a new repository on GitHub. So we make this one Shopify CLI demo. And uh, I will just make this public because I will delete it afterwards anyway. So uh, please make a wise choice for yourself if you want it public or private. Probably for most uh, companies and e-commerce businesses, you would do a private repo. So we create this repository. And now GitHub will show you a little starter how to get your local machine connected or how to, to create this on your local machine. In our case, we want to connect an existing repository to GitHub. For that, we have to enable Git on our theme first. So what you do is you go to the terminal and while you are in the theme folder, you just hit Git in it. And now we have initialized a new Git repository. And now we can kind of follow the steps here. So the git remote command will connect our locally initialized repository to the GitHub re repo we just created on GitHub. So we just do it like this. We create a main branch. And before we can do the last one, we have to add all the files to our local repo because at the moment when I say git status, you can see here we have untracked files. So basically Git is recognizing, okay, there are files in this folder, but uh, we do not track them with Git. So uh, yeah, actually what we do now is we just go for Git add and then make a dot. And this has added all files to the Git repo. These warnings can be safely ignored. The problem here is really that Windows is using CRLF as a line break character at the end and uh, Unix and macOS systems will use LF in the end. In order to have no problems on Windows, Git will automatically 
replace these land break characters uh, appropriate to the system we are working on. So if we check the status now, you can see here all the files and all the subfolders have been added. The second thing we have to do is uh, in order to push it to the git repository we need to commit the changes we just made i mean the change we just made was to actually add all files so that has to be committed to the repo that can be done with git commit and we do a dash m initial commit and as we are using Git the first time on this virtual machine, um, we have to tell the Git system who we are really, because uh, Git is meant to be collaborative. Every change and every commit that is made needs to have an identifier. So uh, the person who made the change and committed the change um, can be seen on the Git repo. So I will just quickly copy this one here and put in my email address and now we put our username so that's it and now we can do our commit again so that's done now and um, what we can do now is uh, to execute the last one here which is uh, to push our changes to the remote system I'll just sign in with code here And uh, we are, <clears throat> as we are already logged in, we can just paste the code here. And now we are all set. What we can do now is have a look here. And now you can see uh, we have the same folders and files as on our local system. And now we are able to connect this one to our Shopify. So now we say connect here and search for our Shopify CLI demo. This will take a moment. So now this is connected. And what I can do now, of course, is to set this one live. And now you see it's the GitHub connected theme now. The big advantage now is really that uh, we have a full GitHub integration. So what we can do, for instance, is we go to the code editor here and um, we take we take a section here and uh, say main product put hello to github here and now when we reload here in github you can see here the changes have been automatically committed to github and here we can see the changes that have been made really so our local repo is now behind uh, the remote repo so what we just do now is to git fetch origin and now we can have a look at git status and you see here it says uh, that my branch is behind uh, origin main by one commit and can be fast forwarded. It already says what I can do now. I can just go for git pull. What we can do now is of course, we can just start editing. We take our main product here again. Now I just change like this and uh, save the file. And as um, VS Codium or VS Code has um, full Git integration. You will see a little notification here. That means uh, there have been changes made to the repo. That's actually really good uh, when you are actively working on your theme because you can just uh, track changes and have a look what you have changed and review your changes before you commit them. Before we have committed the initial changes of the repo over the command line. You can, of course, just do this over the git function within VS Code or VS Codiums. We just uh, need to put a message. So that means, I don't know, changed product page for fun. And um, we go to commit. 
So, and now my changes are committed. I can have a look here what has been done. Now we can just uh, send the changes up to GitHub. That's basically the same uh, as we did before with the push command. So, and now we go back to Shopify CLI demo here on GitHub. As you can see here, oh, we just go for the last commit and here we have this one and here we can see the changes. And of course we can also have a look on at the online editor here, go for sections and have our main product here. And here we have the change we just made. As you can see, there are multiple ways to work here really, because uh, different people can be working on the same theme at the same time. And um, as you can see, changes from the Shopify admin are also committed over to GitHub. So that means one person could uh, probably also work over the Shopify admin if it's just a small change. So everything will always be in sync and um, there's no problem really with uh, different versions. And uh, of course, when you use Git, you have a perfect overview about changes and the history of each file because everything is tracked. There's always a way to merge things together or to roll back to another commit and so on. So uh, I would really recommend to have a look at how Git works because this is really, really helpful. What I find very useful really working locally for Shopify themes is really that uh, we just close this one. It's really I can be much more efficient if I want to want to want to just make small changes. For example, I have just entered here variant price, the local search will look into every file of this repo and uh, find me the entries where where this is and um, I can just click over here and it will take me to the piece of code. This is much, much faster as the online editor because the online editor can only search within the file that is opened. A lot of times you want to do a change and you don't know for everything uh, what is in which file. So uh, the search function is very, very good. And on the local editor, you can also use search and replace over all of your repo files if you want to search and replace a symbol or a string of text and so on. So that's very, very useful and um, much faster than on the Shopify admin really. So that's the GitHub integration. I think that's good enough to get started with the Shopify CLI VS Code and um, to work on your Shopify theme and uh, be a little bit more efficient really. Especially Git can be very overwhelming in the start. So I would really recommend to watch one or two good tutorial videos so uh, you know the basics and how to use it. If you don't know really about these things, it's easy to, to break something. I'm also not a Git expert. I use it, I know how to use it, but there are also a lot of things I don't know. So uh, your mileage may vary really. That's it for Shopify CLI local theme development. And I hope I could show a little bit the advantages and uh, how to develop themes locally. I find it very, very useful and it's much faster to work like this as in the online editor really, because browser applications tend to be slow. See you in the next video.